Hi, welcome to Test Prep Training. Today we will discuss about implementing an Azure Data Solution DP200. Candidates for this exam must be capable to achieve data solutions that practice the Azure services such as Azure SQL Database, Azure Cosmos DB, Azure Stream Analytics, Azure Data Factory, Azure Databricks, Azure Data Lake Storage, and Azure Blob Storage, etc. Who should take this exam? Candidates for implementing an Azure Data Solution DP200 exam are for those who want to become Microsoft Azure Data Engineers who collude with business stakeholders to understand and match the data obligations to complete data solutions that practice Azure Data Services. Now we will talk about requirements for the DP200 exam. Necessities for DP200 certification serve as important factors in the DP200 exam while preparing. First, the candidate seeking for DP200 exam should hold at least one year of background experience as business intelligence professionals, data professionals, or data architects. Second, candidates should also present capacities and skills for presenting content from data platform technologies on Azure. Learning Path The Implementing an Azure Data Solution DP200 exam tests the candidate's knowledge of three major subjects which is, implementing data storage solutions, managing and developing data processing, and monitoring, and optimizing data solutions. So, this exam is all about implementation, and configuration, so you need to know, understand, and learn how to configure data services in the Azure portal. It includes tasks that you have to perform in a live lab. Exam Format the exam includes 40 to 60 number of questions. The questions will appear in the form of multiple choice. The candidate will get 180 minutes to complete the exam, in total, they get 210 minutes. The exam is available in various languages such as English, Japanese, Chinese, Korean. The candidate has to pay 165 US dollars as the examination fee. Now we will talk about, scheduling the exam. In order to appear in implementing an Azure Data Solution DP200 exam, the candidate has to schedule the exam and make themselves register with Microsoft. The candidate can schedule their exam with the Pearson VUE. Detailed Course Outline First, implement data storage solutions, which compromises 40-45% to weightage of this exam. Second, manage and develop data processing, which compromises 25-30% to weightage of this exam. Third, monitor and optimize data solutions which compromises 30 to 35 percent weightage of this exam let us now discuss about course outline topics in detail first implement data storage solutions number one implement non-relational data stores it contains six subtopics which are first implement a solution that uses cosmos db data lake storage gen 2 or blob storage second Implement data distribution and partitions. Third, implement a consistency model in Cosmos DB. Fourth, provision a non relational data store. Fifth, provide access to data to meet security requirements. Sixth, implement for high availability, disaster recovery, and global distribution. Number two, implement relational data stores. It contains six subtopics which are first, configure elastic pools. Second, Configure geo-replication. Third, provide access to data to meet security requirements. Fourth, implement for high availability, disaster recovery, and global distribution. Fifth, implement data distribution and partitions for Azure Synapse Analytics. Sixth, implement Polybase. Number three, manage data security. It contains two subtopics which are First, implement data masking. Second, Encrypt data at rest, and in motion. Second, manage and develop data processing. Number one, develop batch processing solutions. It contains 10 subtopics which are, first, develop batch processing solutions by using Data Factory and Azure Databricks. Second, ingest data by using Polybase. Third, implement the integration runtime for Data Factory. Fourth, implement copy activity within Azure Data Factory. Fifth, Create linked services and datasets. Sixth, create pipelines and activities. Seventh, implement mapping data flows in Azure Data Factory. Eighth, create and schedule triggers. Ninth, implement Azure Databricks clusters, notebooks, jobs, and auto scaling. Tenth, ingest data into Azure Databricks. Number two, develop streaming solutions. 
it contains three subtopics which are first configure input and output second select the appropriate windowing functions third implement event processing by using stream analytics third monitor and optimize data solutions number one monitor data storage it contains eight subtopics which are first monitor relational and non-relational data sources second implement blob storage monitoring third implement data lake storage monitoring fourth implement sql database monitoring fifth implement azure synapse analytics monitoring sixth implement cosmos db monitoring seventh configure azure monitor alerts eighth implement auditing by using azure log analytics number two monitor data processing it contains five subtopics which are first monitor data factory pipelines second monitor azure databricks third monitor stream analytics fourth configure azure monitor alerts fifth implement auditing by using azure log analytics number three optimize azure data solutions it contains six subtopics which are first troubleshoot data partitioning bottlenecks second optimize data lake storage third optimize stream analytics fourth optimize azure synapse analytics fifth optimize sql database sixth manage the data life cycle exam policies while preparing for implementing an azure data solution dp200 exam the candidate should visit the microsoft official site and refer the microsoft exam policies and try to understand them the Microsoft policies provide information regarding basic information such as policies about retaking the exam, scheduling the exam, candidate appeal process, etc. Now, we will talk about implementing an Azure Data Solution Preparation Resources. Here is a step-by-step -step preparation guide for successfully passing the Implementing an Azure Data Solution DP200 exam. First, Microsoft Learning Platform. Microsoft itself offers various learning paths, the candidate should visit the official website of Microsoft. For implementing an Azure Data Solution DP200 exam, the candidate will find many learning paths, and documentations. Finding the relatable content on the Microsoft website is quite an easy task. Second, Microsoft Documentation. Documentations are an important learning resource, while preparing for implementing an Azure Data Solution DP200. The candidate will find documentation on every topic relating to the particular exam. This step is very valuable in preparing for implementing an Azure Data Solution exam. Third, Instructor-led training. The training programs that the Microsoft provide itself is available on their website. The Instructor-led training is an essential resource in order to prepare for the exam like, implementing an Azure Data Solution DP200. The candidate can find the Instructor-led training, on the page of the particular exam on the Microsoft website. There are various training courses available prior to one exam. Fourth, join a study group. For passing the exam like implementing an Azure Data Solution DP200, the candidate needs to get and share knowledge. So, we are suggesting you join some study where you can discuss the concepts with the people who have the same goal. This will lead the candidate throughout their preparation. Fifth, practice test. The most important step is to try your hands on the practice test. Practice tests are the one, which ensures the candidate about their preparation. There are many practice tests are available on the internet nowadays, the candidate can choose whichever they want. The practice test is very beneficial in preparing the exam like DP200.